Hi, I'm Dr. Jared Gardner, and I wanted to share this little disturbing and yet fascinating uh, little critter with you. This is a tick, a baby tick. One of my colleagues found it crawling on them. Thankfully, it was not embedded yet, and they were able to remove it with a little piece of tape and then mount it on a slide. And ticks are arachnids, uh, like mites and spiders and other things. They have eight legs, you can see. Uh, up here is the mouth part, the part it bites and sucks blood with. And this is the this little thing is the shield or the scutum, I think is the name for it. And then the um, abdomen back here. I'm not a not an ent um, uh, entomologist, so I'm not an expert. But we do uh, see these little little guys from time to time and sometimes need to be able to identify them. There's the mouth part, which is actually in pretty good condition. And sometimes we see these on skin biopsy if a, if a tick is... Um, bit the patient and embedded their mouth part in the skin and then sometimes the tick is pulled out but the head or the mouth part uh, the little spiky uh, barbed uh, uh, suction uh, device is still left in the skin and we sometimes see that uh, microscopically the legs are out to the side here and you can see there's little hairs on the legs kind of fascinating actually and like other um, uh, arthropods see look at the little hairs down there uh, like other arthropods, they often have this, like uh, the exoskeleton has these ridges. I don't know if all arthropods have this, but but ticks and mites and things like that, when I see them, they usually do. And you can see these kind of grooves and ridges running along the back here. Uh, and then the edge of this, it's got kind of a little thin border. Some of the ticks have a, a thicker border that looks like the crimped edges of like an apple pie or something. So this type that has the little thin uh, border around the back of the abdomen is Ixodes usually. You can also tell Ixodes uh, based on the where the anal opening is located and there's an anal groove. You can kind of see that's the anal opening, I believe, right there on the underside of the tick. But unfortunately, this the black stuff here is an air bubble that's gotten under here since when the, the, the tick was put on here. So I can't really see it very well but that is that is i think the anal opening and then this little cool looking structure here is kind of pretty actually i think this is the spiracle which is like a breathing uh, hole or breathing opening i'm flipping the condenser here let me go to this power i have I had the mess of the light uh to get it to show up right so it kind of is uh, hard but look at that thing it's kind of a cool like a uh, little i don't know what it looks like the sun or something it looks like some sort of geometric mosaic art Kind of cool for as disturbing and nasty as ticks are and as many horrible diseases as they carry. Here we go. It's kind of neat looking, that thing. I think that's the breathing uh, the breathing apparatus or breathing opening. And I was reading, let's see if I can change the, the light setting. Maybe that'll be a little better. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, I was reading and I was fascinated to learn, like, how long does it take ticks to drown or, or die without air? Because they breathe oxygen. They breathe sometime between 1 and 15 times per hour, which is kind of crazy if you think about, you know, our respiratory rate of, you know, 20 or something, depending on depending on your age and things like that. You know, maybe per minute we breathe multiple, multiple times, not per hour. So uh, that was kind of a surprising thing. So anyway... That's what a tick looks like. And I, I can't really show you, but this thing is a tiny, tiny little tick. So probably, a, I guess, either a first instar or nymph form. Again, if you're an entomologist watching this, you know probably way more than I do. But this is not an adult tick. This is a very small baby tick. And it was not embedded, so there was no you know, risk of uh, disease transmission to my uh, fellow pathologist who found this on them. But um, a good reminder, ticks do carry lots of diseases depending on where you live and what type of tick it is. So, you know, I always try to make sure when I go out to wear, you know, either wear long sleeves or long, uh, long pants uh, when I'm out uh, hiking around in the woods. And I also personally put on like uh, there's some different types of permethrin based spray you can put on your clothes to reduce the risk of ticks catching you. You can read about this online and decide what kinds of uh, options you like. But um, for myself, I definitely try to avoid getting ticks because uh, I do not want to catch any of the nasty diseases they carry. And also just look at that nasty little thing. It's fascinating, but very disturbing. And it's better on a slide than on my skin. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.